Vario has published a new software version, the Vario Base 3.5, and they have acknowledged the problem warping, as they said. But you haven't tried it yet, because exactly. I did test the software uh, already, but you haven't. I haven't done so yet, exactly. So I'm going to try this today for this video, actually. And we're going to actually try it together. And afterwards, we're going to let you know our thoughts. If you liked it or think it's improved and what I thought. And yeah, this is pretty interesting. So absolutely stay tuned, watch the whole video because all of this goodness is coming up. My name is Marco Budde. And my name is Sebastian Ang. And if you are interested in VR and AR, subscribe to this channel and join our Discord server to discuss things like the warping of the Vario Aero. That would be great. We're waiting there for you right now. <laughs> and the link is down in the description of this video. And now Sebastian has the Vario Aero on his head and the new Vario Base software 3.5 is updated on his system. Yes. But the new correction profile is off. You can turn it on and off. And we did the German part of this video just a few minutes ago. So Sebastian <laughs> has uh, seen the differences. Yes. But now it's off again. So tell the crowd, what can you see yeah, in right. terms of warping? Okay, so especially in the top part, I can see very strong warping. I can tell there's something going on, something funny. <laughs> <laughs> that we don't want to see there actually. Okay. Right, and also, also on the sides, um, yeah, I can I can see the warping, and um, this is now my second impression, just like like uh, Marco has said. I just want to say, just like Vario has said, okay. no, just like Marco has said already. Um, this is my second impression. When we did the the German version of this video, he didn't tell me if it was off or on. And I said like, yeah, okay, I can still see warping going on. And then he said, okay, I'm going to change something. <laughs> and then he, it, it restarted. And yeah, I still said, yeah, but it's still there somehow. And I thought like, oh no, hopefully, hopefully uh, actually th that is not it because there was no big difference. Yeah, right. So there's warping on the sides, visible and warping on the top. So now, I would say, Marco, do your thing and uh, turn on the, the entire warping uh, effect. Okay. Okay, yeah, so now you flip the, the, the switch and it, it is such a big difference. It is so much better. Where can you see the difference in so, terms of warping? Especially on the top, there w this was, in my opinion, the biggest problem. There was lots of funny things, as I said, going on, but now not anymore. So now in the top, it's, it's just normal. So it's it's gone i would say it's it's really really good and on the sides it is also like much better like uh, in the german video i told you like for me this is now gone actually i would i don't think anyone who buys this new would would now go to reddit <laughs> or to any place and say like oh the warping is so bad really no like for, for me personally this is now not a, an issue anymore okay. and it's it's not it's not like okay i'm used to it i really think this is so good now okay i yeah. would say it's a little bit different i would say yeah. that uh, new users of the vario aero would see the warping still see the warping um, on the sides but not on the top as it's on the top uh, removed in my opinion as the same as you you said okay so Yes, um, a little, um, little improvements on the sides, but for you... For me, big improvements on the side. Yes. Like, I, I also, I couldn't say, like, it's gone. Like, if I really look at the lines in the very, very peripheral area, okay, there's super little, but it's super little that's going on, which is wrong. But it's, it's overall, if I compare, like, the version before with now, it's, it's... A huge difference. I would even say night and day difference, in my opinion. Me too. You're yeah. right. But it's not gone. But that's the same you have said. Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah, cool. Perfect. Then I would let's, suggest... Let's play a game. Play a game. Maybe 11 table tennis. Let's do it. <laughs> okay. Okay.
Sebastian, how yes. is 11 table tennis your favorite <laughs> VR game? I think <laughs> it is not my the favorite VR game, but it's it is one of my favorite VR games. I really like it. Yeah, I can tell you, it is just it's great. It's uh, the clearest way, uh, the the most beautiful way that you could play 11 table tennis. And now it's even better because before I could see, especially in the top, I could see those kind of warping effects, and it kind of Yeah, it distracted me. So, so what I did, what I did before, I was uh, I put on the heads in a way that this was out of my FOV. But doing so, I kind of made my FOV a bit smaller than it actually could be, right? Did you so also you have, do it like this before? You've you worn it a little bit higher on your head. Yes, for okay. example, just yeah. to get just to get this out of my field of view. But now I don't need to do that. Now I don't need to do that. I can enjoy the full FOV on the top and on the bottom. If I put it a bit deeper into my face now. And yeah, and now I don't have these distracting warping effects. It's, it's just better. So in my opinion, they have done an amazing job with that um, warping uh, improvement. Is it also what you think? Yes, exactly the same. A little, diff a little bit different on my side because I can still see warping, but I, I, I don't. It's, it's not something I recognize every time I, I uh, put on the Vario arrow. Okay, uh, where do you still see the warping then? On the left and the right, not at the top. Okay. On the top, it's gone, in my opinion. But the left and at the left, left and the right. Wow. I can still see it, but only yeah, a little I, bit. It's, but it's, it's better it's, with it's, software, But no? I really, like, even on the, I'm looking now to the right, and I, wow, it's, I cannot see it. I, I really think they've done such a good job on this. Yeah, anyways, so, huge improvement. Great. Huge improvement. Then I would suggest, let's go back to the studio. Let's talk about it okay. and maybe let's talk about other differences to the value based software. Okay, let's do it. Perfect. Now we're back here in the studio. Sebastian, please yes. summarize your impression. Okay, yeah. Like you have just seen, it's a big improvement, like a huge improvement. It's so much better. And I believe that people who now get the arrow and check it out for the first time, I personally don't think that they will feel like, wow, there's warping. It's, okay. it's, it's really just such a huge difference from before. I would even call it day and night difference. Before, what you just told me in the very beginning, there was just something wrong. It was, mm -hmm. it was you had to see it. You, had, you would see it for sure, right? Even like you and me, we already used it, but we could still very clearly see that there was some strong warping, some problems on the top exactly. and on the side. It's like... It's, you can't unsee it. It like, was always there, but right. it wasn't a problem anymore for us. Right, but we also could still see it. And exactly. like uh, we both did it, like we put that problem out of our field of view by putting the, the arrow on in a certain way. Mm -hmm. But now, uh, don't have to do this anymore. So you, you can uh, make use of the full vertical FOV now. And it is, it's a, it's a, super, it's a super big improvement. In my opinion, they have solved the problem. I don't think that somebody would like return the device because of warping now. Okay, but what, what, what do you think? What do, what do you think about it? I, I still think that uh, the headset is not for everyone. Yeah. Besides the price, of course. <laughs> I mean, yes, that's for sure, yeah. Because the warping is still there on the sides, even it's it's, it's, uh, it's, it's less. It is, but it's, it's way yes, less. But the problem is we don't have eye relief here. And the further you're away from the lenses, the bigger you will see even the little warping on the sides, in my opinion. Okay. So yeah. when you have the right face for it, the right head, then uh, it's more, there's a bigger chance now that you that you love the arrow when if you buy it. But um, yes, they have done a great job to improve it here. And maybe they will even improve it even further in the future. So maybe mm -hmm. the warping is like PlayStation VR niveau um, in the level, future yeah. or level, yes. I'm, I'm honestly telling you, I think the PlayStation VR has more problems now with distortion than this. Oh, really? Okay. So, yes. Okay, two yeah, people, if you, two opinions. But that's a good thing now about MRTV, MRTV team yes, that there is now more than one opinion. That's right. So um, if you if you um, put on the PSVR one, if we only have it <laughs> right now, unfortunately, and then if you move 
the 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 box you will you will very clearly see like uh, things deforming but only yeah. when you move it? yeah i would say yeah okay but yeah. you don't move it most of the time you don't yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but but, okay, but you can you're but, right, yeah. but also also like just looking around without moving it you will also see that the world will move a bit with you it's not perfect for the psvr one no it's not perfect it's not perfect but yeah so this is just we both agree yeah. it's way better now yes, and both like agree. for me i even don't think people will have a problem now there is still a bit yes it's still not as perfect as the the index or the the, the quest 2 but for this being like in a spheric lens which is super clear with yeah. no problems with sh clarity i i really think this is now great I think that uh, the chance is very high that uh, if you are waiting for the Vario Aries, if you are still waiting for it, that uh, the, the chance is very high that you will keep it. Yeah, I think so too. Um, I'm, I'm interested in the opinion of the, of the viewers if, uh, some of, of, if, if some of you will buy the Aero again maybe or test it out anywhere. Um, uh, and give it, give the device another chance because uh, ah, now okay. you could, uh, you could uh, really have a good chance that the warping is okay for you. You mean like some people who have sent it back exactly because of the pro warping problem? Exactly. They would now buy it again. Okay, yeah. I, I, I would say if you send it back, if you have sent it back because this, these kind of distortions were too big of a problem for you, give it a second chance. Give it a second try. Because we've both seen it, it's just so much better. And this is. is not a sponsored video. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. Okay, great. Yep. Okay, Sebastian, thank you for trying it. I yeah, you're tried, welcome. <laughs> uh, I think uh, this version for like uh, three weeks now, uh, an experimental version, and um, I, I was the same. I, I, I've, I've watched, uh, I've looked into the Vario Arrow, and I've seen this picture and the 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 um the missing warping the missing warping yeah. um on the top <laughs> and it was uh, very good for me so Great. i i um really appreciate that vario has has fixed the problem sort of kind of yeah and um that the version is now public great yeah so everyone can get it it's vario base 3.5 if you want it and it's not only the warping that they have improved it's also some little other features like the eye calibration doesn't have to uh, be um, no the eye calibration um, the eye calibration doesn't have to be done every single time yes. in the beginning yeah so that's much better that's true um, if you just uh, was looking or hinting to your monitor maybe and you uh, put the Vario Arrow back on, you always have to um, recalibrate your foveated rendering, your eye tracking. And now there's a setting where you can disable this. And it's, it's very good now that you have this comfort feature. That is cool. However, there's still some things that need work. Right, Marco? Like, totally. Like, like what, for example? The motion smoothing topic i would call it. they call it motion prediction but in um, in reality there is no motion prediction no motion motion smoothing here doesn't really work right yes if you have a g2 for example and you use microsoft flight simulator or you play microsoft flight simulator you can um, achieve a very fluent picture a very yeah. higher very fps smooth picture exactly and here it's it's kind of smooth even with low frame rates that's another topic for a new video but it's not like motion smoothing mm -hmm. and um, they have still no solution for this. So Vario, please bring motion smoothing to the Vario Aero. Exactly. We want it. We need it. And I do believe that for some people, it's just super important to have it, right? Because, you know, like Microsoft Flight Simulator is such a demanding title. And if you can get double the frame rate on the G2. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, you also told me that you still like this better. For, for Microsoft Flight Simulator, you still feel it's it's kind of like a uh, fluid, right? It's it's more fluid than uh, with the G2. Okay. When uh, motion smoothing is turned off um, okay. in the G2 setting. That makes sense. Um, because they have here some kind of uh, some sort of um, 
motion prediction built in. They they try to compensate missing missing frames if your frame rate is very low by showing the same frames without predicting exactly. frames. Okay, right. And this is something the G two does not very, oh, not not at not all. Not at all. Okay, yes, exactly. Yeah. And um, yes, so this okay. is uh, maybe a topic for a new video. I think you have to do this video. Exactly, <laughs> I will do it. So totally subscribe this channel. If yeah. you like this video, uh, please leave a like. And um, Sebastian, thank yep. you for trying oh, yeah. the You're bio welcome. arrow here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yes, uh, please join the MRTV Discord uh, and discuss with us the new software version. Yes. Um, we would totally uh, see you there. We would like to see you there and uh, we'd like to discuss. It would topic. be, exactly, it would be great for all the owners of the Vario Arrow come to the MRTV Discord server. There's a special section just for the Vario Arrow. And actually, we want to build up the Discord server, our Discord server, really to be a great place for users of all the headsets to discuss certain things about their headsets, how to improve it. And there will always be people there who know about these headsets. And yeah, you're going to get uh, more Vario videos. Also, thanks to, to Marco now on the team. Marco, you are very into hardware. You love to really go into the details, yes, more than me, honestly speaking. So it's just great. You will get more in-depth videos about these topics thanks to Marco being on the team. So, yeah, I'm still amazed that you're on the team. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, <laughs> me too. Yeah. And that's everything that we got for this video. Thank you for watching and we see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye. Ciao.